One of the roles of government is to ensure the proper management of public funds. This includes the efficient implementation of the country's budgets and good management of financial resources. This role is usually performed by the country's finance department or the Department of Treasury. The main function of the Department of Treasury is to manage the government finances by operating and maintaining regulations, policies, and systems that are critical to the financial infrastructure of the country, state, province, or municipality. In this video, we will list and discuss some of the functions of Treasury. Welcome back to Public Administration 101, proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust, as indicated. In this video, we will be discussing some of the functions of the Department of Treasury. By first providing an overview on the role of the Department of Treasury, as well as some of the responsibilities of the Treasury Department, we will then list and discuss the 10 functions of the Department of Treasury. We will also discuss the mandate of the National Treasury in South Africa. We will conclude by summarizing some of the basic functions of the Treasury Department. Before we get into today's video, we would like to remind you to please check out our other videos on public administration under this channel. Also remember to support the channel by clicking on that like button under this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. And make sure that you turn on the notification bell to be alerted when we post new videos. Now, let us get into today's video. As a starting point, it should be mentioned that proper financial management within a country is essential in ensuring that the government fulfills on its mandate and its objectives. This role of ensuring proper financial management of the government is usually assigned to the Department of Finance or the Treasury Department. Please note that in this video, we will be using the terms Department of Finance and the Department of Treasury interchangeably. It should also be mentioned that, in some countries, these departments might be separate and perform different roles. The Finance Department or the Department of Treasury in most countries is responsible for developing, implementing, and managing sound financial practices which promote economic development, good governance and accountability, social progress and improvement living standards, as well as the sustainable, effective, economic, efficient, equitable, and management and use of public funds. The role and responsibility of a Department of Finance or a Department of Treasury within a government normally involves a number of various activities, including the formulation of fiscal policy, budget preparation and budget execution, management of financial operations, developing accounting and financial policies, rules, and regulations, ensuring the implementation of financial controls, maintaining current and historical financial records of the government as well as evaluating the financial performance of government policies and programs. Having said that, here is a list of the 10 functions that are normally performed by the government's finance department or the treasury department. Function 1. A government's finance department or the department of treasury is responsible for the coordination between government policy and budgeting. This assists with long-term strategic planning for the benefit of improving service delivery and fostering a culture of transparency and accountability through reporting, monitoring, and evaluation strategy. In this instance, the role of Treasury is also to ensure that government expenditure is balanced by making sure that not too much is spent on one program in comparison with an equally important program. The Treasury Department is also responsible for the granting of prior permission on government programs. 
If a department plans any changes to a program, the Treasury must be informed so that it can study and evaluate the financial implications. The Treasury Department is also required to advise the legislature on the financial implications, or on any costs implications, of any new policies and laws. The Treasury Department is further required to determine whether or not all government departments have properly motivated budget proposals. The Treasury Department further acts as a watchdog by guarding public funds from misuse and ensuring the proper usage and withdrawal of public funds by all government departments and government officials. The Treasury Department is also required to control stock. The control of stock in warehouses and stores is vital because large amounts of stock representing vast amounts of monies are invested here. The Treasury Department also has the authority to grant dispensation given to it by the legislature. The Treasury Department is further responsible for developing procurement procedures for the purpose of controlling government purchases, and this is normally done through a central tender board or procurement section within the Treasury Department. The Treasury Department also ensures that financial policies are interpreted effectively and efficiently. This is done by promoting government's fiscal policy and the coordinating macroeconomic policy. In instances where the state auditor, such as the Auditor General, reports findings in their audit report to the legislature, the Treasury Department is then expected to explain its involvement in the reported audit findings, including all its approvals of the dispensations of funds, to the Public Account Committee. In South Africa, the National Treasury is tasked with the mandate of managing the finances of the South African National Government. This mandate is provided for under Chapter 13 of the Constitution of South Africa, which states that, the National Treasury must ensure transparency, accountability, and sound financial controls in the management of public finances. The National Treasury's legislative mandate is also prescribed in Chapter 2 of the Public Finance Management Act, also known as PFMA. The National Treasury is therefore mandated to promote the government's fiscal policy framework coordinate the macroeconomic policy and intergovernmental financial relations, to manage the budget preparation process, to facilitate the Division of Revenue Act, which provides for an equitable distribution of national revenue between the national, the provincial, and the local governments. And lastly, to monitor the implementation of provincial budgets. The mission of the National Treasury is also to promote economic development, good governance, social progress, and rising standards of living through, accountable, economic, efficient, equitable, and sustainable management of the country's public finances. The National Treasury's priorities further include increasing investment in infrastructure and industrial capital, improving education and skills development to raise productivity, improving the regulation of markets and public entities, and lastly, fighting poverty and inequality through efficient public service delivery, expanded employment levels, as well as income support and empowerment. In conclusion, the Finance Department, or the Department of Treasury, in most countries, are responsible for the management of government finances, through a number of activities and functions including the formulation of fiscal and monetary policy, including developing accounting and financial policies, rules and regulations, evaluating the financial performance of government policies and programs, advising on domestic and international financial, monetary, economic, trade, and tax policy, enforcing finance, accounting and tax laws, managing budget preparations and budget execution. 
the Finance Department, or the Department of Treasury, is also responsible for managing the financial operations of the government, ensuring the implementation of financial controls, collecting and reporting on financial records of the government, including the maintenance of historical and comparative data, collecting revenue through taxes, duties, and monies due to the government, as well as making payments for government services. Other functions of the Treasury include borrowing necessary funds in order to run the government, managing government accounts, and the public debt, managing the production of currency and coinage, supervising banks and other financial institutions, as well as investigating and prosecuting tax evaders, counterfeiters, and forgers. We've come to the end of this video on the functions of the Department of Treasury and the role of the Department of Finance. So, thank you for watching. This video was proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. And remember to turn on the notification button to make sure that you don't miss out when we post new videos. You can also connect with us by following us on social media at Consult Kano and continue the conversation by leaving us a comment below or tag us on social media using the hashtag Consult Kano. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time for another video. Until next time, please check out these other videos under our channel, or you can click here to watch these videos.